This is him. Oh yeah. You got a big one on. Oh, he hammered it. Just getting ready to check the bait. Ooh, going Swimming around the rod. Swimming this way fast. I think this could be a real big mutton. I hope. I mean, that hopefully, or... Hopefully it's not a shark. Hopefully it's not a shark, yeah. I was like, that or a shark, but... I mean, you're getting him up here. Oh. Where's Gabe when we need him? <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's Kelly here. We're out with the Stans fam. We got Nick Stanzik on the rod. We got Sarah Stanzik right here. With the rod butt. Nope. You want I'll the paint it? Brave. Oh, Nick can't wear a pink cushion all day long. A pink cushion, not on film. But we got something big on. We've been sitting out here trying to mutton fish for probably about half an hour now. It's like 200 degrees out here. Yeah, it's toasty. The girls need to go swimming, cool up. Yeah, me and Sarah are gonna spear fish. So Nick came along, he just wanted to catch a mutton snapper, so. Here he is. Here he is. And now All we're going to go spearfish. Pride and glory. Good job, Nick. I hope it's a mutton snapper. Please don't be a jack. I'm kind of spooked with this line we're being yeah, right here. Kind of crusted, but I'll see which way I got to go. Just put your rod up there. Okay, we're wrapped up in it, Sarah. Go and wind that one Ooh. too. We got a tangalooski. Tangalooski. Just wind slowly. Well, he's definitely one pound bigger now because there's a pound lead on that other rod. Oh, gosh. Hopefully he doesn't get de-hooked. Nope, we don't want that. Come on, Nick. If Sarah de-hooks him, we'll all be hungry. What? Oh, we'll just blame it on Sarah. If de-hook him, we'll all be hungry. <laughs> this one, nice and easy. Come on. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go, you guys. Coming up here, we'll find out in a second. So when you're mutton fishing, you have a, a weight on the bottom to keep, obviously, your bait down, and you have an extremely oh, we got color. Here it comes. long leader. What's it look like, Kelly? Um, It looks like, it looks like a fish. Well, salt water, right? Oh, it looks like a mouton. Oh, is it the right type? Yes. Oh, nice one. That's a big one. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. look at that one. Oh, that's on a the monster. Board. Get him sassy. Holy moly. That's at lift them. at least 30 inches, maybe 28, 28, 30. It's not 30 inches all day. Oh, 30 inches look all day. Look at him puffed up, all the air blowing out of him. Dang. Oh, that's a stud. <laughs> yeah, on the board. <laughs> Holy oh. moly. Somebody must have heard about the hot bite. <laughs> For real, Nick's phone's always ringing. Jeez Louise, that's a toad. Wouldn't it be nice to spear one that size? Oh. Gotta go 200 feet deep. <laughs> you gotta swim down deep. We got dinner covered now. Yeah, I asked Nick, I'm like, so how deep we going? Like 60 foot for muttons? Because back home in Stewart, we go around 60, 80 foot. Ah. Nick's like 200, I'm like, oh. what? We got another fish on. For real? We had a pilcher out on top, but something ate it. Ooh. He's been swimming around out there for a while. Dang. The fish bite just turned on automatically. So that's crazy because in my last video I was down in Key West and I spear fished my first mutton snapper and I was so stoked. I get kind of lucky with mine though because it was in 30 foot of crystal clear water. It doesn't really have a head shake. It's a tuna for sushi. A tuna would be good. It could be a bonita, but you never know. Maybe it's a tuna. I it's would coming in kind of easy. Back there, sir, if you want. It could be a black fish. Oh. have both red meat and white meat, Kelly. <laughs> a little football size. Does he got a head shake? I'm not seeing anything crazy. He's just thumping just a little bit now. Like I he think was... he was on there a while though because the spool is half empty. Oh no. <laughs> so he probably swam out there a couple hundred yards. But we're getting did you have the bail open? I did for a while oh. and I saw it was gone. I, I suppose <laughs> I closed it but I think he was on there swimming around with us. Oh there it is. Now he's thumping. Hey we can use a bonita for bait. No hook on my bait. <laughs> there no bait on my hook. Now right, we got color over here. What do we got? Blackfin tuna? I think it's a blackfin, you guys. <gasps> For sushi. real? Yeah. Sushi. It is a blackfin. Oh Sweet. my gosh. It's perfect. It's perfect. Sarah right, and we can I just were... go home. We don't even have to go. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Sarah and I were just watching one of was it your videos that were making sushi? Yeah. Person. Some video on YouTube making sushi and we're like, we should make sushi tomorrow night. Yeah. You should grab them by the tail when it comes out. <laughs> tuna shake, tuna shake. Yeah, be shaking now. Nice. Watch the guns. Yeah, right. Look at him. Oh, he's a good one. He's a nice little fish. Oh, he's angry. Yeah. I think he just oh. realized he was hooked. Yeah. I touched him. You got a gaff? Yeah, okay. All right. I got faith in it. Sir, don't lose him. You're on camera. <laughs> one more loop here. All the bloopers going in. Come on. There we go. Okay, look at 
She got them. There we go. That's sushi. A nice one. Yes. We're set now. We got sushi. Dude, we got mutton snapper, blackfin tuna, and then yesterday I speared a cereal mackerel, um, mango snapper, and what else? Oh, yellow They're jack. They're so cool. They're like, ah! Push on the deck. Push on the deck. Look at the big old eyeballs. Oh, God. <laughs> I was about to say it before. Oh, my God. Dang, well, that was a nice start to this video. We're going to go ahead and bleed these fish out and put them and submerge them in some ice especially that tuna. Very important when you catch tuna, you want to get them on ice immediately so that meat doesn't get hot and mushy. Tuna shake, tuna yeah. shake. <laughs> so I'm up at the bow of the boat, vertical jigging with my Johnny jigs. And sure enough, the flatline rod that had just a, what did I have on? A pilchard. A pilchard got oh, smacked yeah. again. Oh, big tuna, big blackfin, big blackfin. Another yeah, big blackfin. Walk up here, walk up, yeah. here. Walk up here. Ooh, like that's a monster. Oh. No. <laughs> no. It's 20 pounds, you guys. Here, Kelly. No. Twitch with me. I'll hold the camera. Dwarves <laughs> the, the first one. Sarah Kelly said I, she wanted to go fishing today. Kelly and I just, we said we wanted sushi to make, we want to make sushi rolls for dinner, so. But well, we weren't planning on catching like really nice tunas, right? I know what the real plan was, it was to leave me at home and they were gonna go fishing on the boat. The last night I said, hang on, what's going on? Kelly shows up 20 minutes later, plays with Sadie and Claire. I just Sadie, Claire was sleeping. <laughs> and then we go fishing together and now we're getting fish, they're gonna go spear fishing. That's what really happened. Oh. <laughs> it was supposed to be a girls' day and then here comes Nick. <laughs> yeah, back three, the third wheel. It's okay, Nick can hang with the girls. <laughs> Next. He's gonna drive the boat while we both get in the water, so yeah. kind of worked yeah. out. Rory might be here for a little while. Yeah. You got a pretty heavy duty rod though. You'll get that thing in here. Before we catch this fish, I want to give a huge shout out to Sunday for sponsoring this video. Now Sunday are lawn care products that are super simple, friendly, and there's no harsh chemicals involved. That's why I like them. So one of my favorite products is Mosquito Delito. I honestly just love the name, but I also love the product as well. It's the beginning of Florida here in summer and the mosquitoes are rank. And as you guys know, we do have animals as well. We got dogs, my new puppy Finley, we got chickens and turkeys. So this kills mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks without using toxic, harmful pesticides. Now Sunday is an annual subscription that provides all lawn care products you need from fertilizer, weed control to seed. And it's all customized based on your region, climate, soil, and yard. Now this is how Sunday works. You go in the description below, click the link, you type in your address to start your own lawn analysis. You get your customized lawn care plan in seconds and you get everything to your doorstep. All you do is attach the ready to use nutrient pouches to your hose and spray away. Another one of my favorite things is this grass seed. Wrong side. The grass seed here because if you guys have seen my recent chicken videos, probably a few months back now, um, my lawn was very, very patchy, very dirty because of those guys. Look at it now. It is absolutely beautiful. All thanks to grass seed. I know you guys want to see that fish we're about to reel in, but if you guys want a beautiful green yard without using chemicals or toxic pesticides, you can go to getsunday.com slash Kelly Young or use code YOUNG20 at checkout to save 20% off. Now, let's get back to the video. Get him right in the head. Nice and easy. Just pull nice and easy. Get him. Oh, swing and miss. Right away, right away, right away. There you go. You got him! Yeah. It's a jumbo go. blackfin! <laughs> Jesus! Is that your biggest blackfin? Oh my god. The entire life? I think so. Yeah, definitely. It's a pretty big Huge. one. It's a nice one. He might be 25. Kelly, we got sushi for days. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I need some pearls right oh. now. Working out some biceps. Yeah. Uh, now you can do a fish squat. Oh, oh yeah. Fish squats. <laughs> Good job, Sassy. 
My nice back. Job, <laughs> nice tuna. Dang, that's a big tuna. Come up here. I'm waiting for him to flip out. Uh, hopefully we'll keep him in the can of gun on the boat right here. Alright. Gosh, he's a monster. I just let him hang out in here for a minute. Can I just break it? Yes. Good night. Sweet dreams. He didn't even flip out when we got on the boat. He was so tired Sarah fighting him. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. No. <laughs> I need a drink. Oh, you need a chance to beat Cookie, huh? Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Leave my cookies alone. <laughs> so, Nick put down this mini rod, as you can see here, and there seems to be something on it, something not too crazy. And then this bottom mutton rod just popped off, so it might be a little shark or it might be another mutton snapper, but we're gonna see when he pulls it up. I have no idea what's on this little rod. I'm just reeling this nice and steady. Not really. Oh, there's a little head. Shake but we know what's in the that. boat already. <laughs> the mutton. Gosh, the mutton and the. Our box is getting full. I know. It's a good thing we put a, a third bucket of ice in there. Yeah. All right. Here comes whatever Nick has. I'm betting on a small shark. That's what it looks like. A little shark, maybe Atlantic shark now. Yeah, I think so. We're not flinging it on my feet. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. I can get him. Got it. Listen, I don't want... Oh, he just threw a bait <laughs> on my ankle. What was so it? cute. Put him upside down. Catatonic state, right? Yep, and this is actually, this is a female because she has no claspers. So if it was a male, um, this shark would have two claspers running down right here. So this is a female shark. Good job, biologist Kelly. <laughs> Kelly Hello. knows about sharks, in case y'all didn't know. Sharks thing. I'll hold this little bugger. <laughs> Can you get the hook out of them? Oh yeah, you got, I think pliers would be probably necessary. Now Let's you see. got it. Let's see, Nick lives on the edge. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I don't want you to have a matching scar. It is true. Oh, I can this. smell them. Gosh, sharks stink. I got them. Oh, there you go. One, Bye. two, three. <laughs> he was almost tangled in the leader and the hook almost got me, but luckily it slid off his tail. He had wrapped up around it. Yeah. Could have been a bad day. Here we go. This is coming up. This little tiny rod has what a two ounce weight on it. Yeah. It was on the bottom in 200 and what 50 feet. Yep. No current right. today, really. It's coming up. It's coming up. What's it look like? I don't know. I've been reeling it forever, but then again, it's a tiny rod. I don't even see color yet. I noticed a head shake probably about halfway through reeling it. I don't think it's anything bigger than two, like to really push that two ounce weight around, but. Alright, here's the weight. Bonita. Bonita. Trophy fish. Good old Bonita. Hey, that's bait right there. Do you guys need Bonita for bait or should oh, we let him go? That's swordfish bait all over there. Good all job, right, Kelly. Well, that's gonna catch a swordfish. If anyone's gonna use a swordfish bait, it's this guy. So. <laughs> you guys eat them, I use them for bait. Alright, I did, I did make a video eating one of these. Not gonna, and it wasn't that bad. I made a poke bowl out of it. He swallowed it for sure. Yeah, he's toast. I catch a big old swordfish on that, it's well worth it. Sweet. All right, so we took a break from fishing. Sarah and I are gonna jump in the water. Nick's controlling the boat. And oh, I have- our souls. <laughs> <laughs> I got a uh, Koa roller spear gun and a Koa, I think this is a Euro. We got some dive gear, we're gearing up. This water's looking pretty blue and clear today. So fingers crossed we can find some fish. This is the exact same spot Sarah and I came to after our lobstering video a few months ago. Um, right before lobster season closed and we actually found a massive massive black grouper that was just like hanging out in like a sponge or something so maybe he's here today because now grouper season is open is that a cubera yeah, right? holy smokes good stuff not too shabby oh did it where did it spook off yeah Killed him right in his. Look, he died right. instantly. He didn't even twitch. 
The flopper isn't even engaged. Ooh, got lucky. Yeah, the tip of it's just lodged in its spine. <laughs> well, I think I'll for a picture, Sarah. Good stuff. They were just swimming on top of the reef? Yeah. Huh. Two of them. Two of them. We got talk for over here. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right, take him before a shark comes to me. Good stuff, Sarah. Nice shot, too. Sarah don't even need a lobster to catch one. the black that came out of there and the big mangrove but I was getting too excited I like rushed a shot I should have just waited because you, you had me turn perfect he wasn't going anywhere but I'm gonna see I'm gonna look on the other side yeah how do I reload this Back to the Nick camera. Kelly's got a big mangrove. You look bigger than I thought, so that's good. It's a nice mango. Nice little gut shot. Paul's looking for sharks quick on this one. You drilled them. It's a nice mangrove. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The boat nice and bloody. There you go. There you go, Nick. Oh my gosh, that's a good mangrove. That's a three, three pounder all day, three and a half. I was gonna try to double up on him, but then the one in front of him swam, like in front of him, so I was like, dang it. That's a good one, nice job.
<laughs> Small fish, powerful gun. No, no. I, these two big mangrove snappers have been mocking me since I got no, in the water. I thought big ones, they just stay out of reach. Because I shot, I shot at him once, and he, I can't wait to see the footage. He turned so fast away from my shaft. This nurse shark's like, where's the food at? We're back in at Bud and Mary's. Nick and I are flaying the fish. Sarah's giving the boat a little bit of a rinse down. And I just flayed the monstrosity of a mutton snapper that we caught today. Nick's doing the tuna. Uh, Sarah's Cubera snapper. Beautiful. And we're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna cook. Um, Nick is probably gonna make some type of sushi for his blackfin tuna video. And I might go ahead and take some of this snapper back to my dad and brother back in uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida and cook them off a really nice dinner because they've been watching my brand new puppy who's 12, 13 weeks now, I think 12 and a half weeks, Finley. So if you guys didn't know I just got a new puppy, watch my last two videos. He's super cute. Anyways, we'll see y'all back in Port St. Lucie. All right, so as you guys can see here, we have this beautiful fresh Pretty much as fresh as you can get Cubera snapper that Sarah Stanzik shot. Now, I'm going to be thinking about my shot on the other Cubera snapper for a very long time. I shot that thing, I honestly, I was a little too excited because there's not a lot of times you see those massive Cubera snapper in 30 foot of crystal clear water. And I dove down, dove down, and I got way too excited and I just, I kind of rushed my shot. And I ended up hitting him in the no man's land on top of his head in the meat and when he went under that ledge he shook it out and ripped right out so that cubera snapper has a nice little notch taken out on top of his head but we have miss aubrey here she was in uh one of my videos probably about two years ago um as you go as you guys know my best friend chelsea this is her nine-year-old daughter she's going to be helping me putting some seasoning on this food so first things first with this fish i'm going to go ahead and dress it with a little bit of olive oil just like that I'm gonna use some butter, garlic, salt seasoning. This stuff, ooh, wrong side, that would've been bad. This stuff is so good. I actually had it on some mahi-mahi last night. Ooh, it's one of my favorite seasonings to put on fish now. Just like that. A little bit of black pepper. might add some more butter about halfway through and so what I did with this cubera um, that I normally don't do is under it I left the skin and the scales on I've only done this one time before actually with a cubera snapper um, and it turned out really good I didn't use foil I just laid it on the grill and it's almost like the collagen that's in between the skin and the meat the scales like held it in place and that collagen like like seeped through the meat it was so good and moist so we're gonna do that again today, but we're gonna wrap it in some foil. Now, next up is our zucchini. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some everything bagel, everything bagel seasoning on our zucchini. Nope, the zucchini. Mm. We're gonna do a little bit of everything bagel, which is um, some onion flavoring. What are those? Oh, poppy seeds. Sesame a little seeds. bit on that, it should be good. Sesame seeds. 
good. That's plenty. Thank you. What else? What else am I missing? Sesame sea salt, garlic, onion, and poppy seed. Next up is some garlic salt. So go ahead and sprinkle garlic salt. Not too much though. Just a nice light layer. A little more. Maybe a little more. A little more on there. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. And last but not least, some good old olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and throw these zucchini on the grill with the fish too. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. When the fish is done, we have a little bit of some mango salsa. Now I did kind of cheat because I have been running around today with like a chicken with his head cut off. We got some diced mango and some tomato trinity with tomato, onions, and pepper. Green pepper. Which is going to go on top of our fish when it's done cooking. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of lime juice to it just to give it a little spaz. Now, normally I would add avocado and cilantro too, but my dad doesn't like cilantro and my brother's not a fan of avocado, so we're gonna leave those out today. Go ahead and put it in there. Good, that's plenty. Thank you. Stir that up. I got some over there. That's okay. Sometimes when you cook, it gets a little messy. <coughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna set that aside and let's go put this bad boy on the grill. I'm going to go ahead and put an extra layer of foil under it so if any of those juices do seep out, it doesn't go into the grill. Mess that up. There we go. All right, Aubrey, you wanna hold this for me? Yep. All right, hold that. I'm gonna get the zucchini and follow me outside. Never had Kubera. Really? How much? You? That's Finley. Uh -huh. Have you guys had Kubera? All right, you guys. So we have all the kids in the pool right now. I actually have some friends from the gym. Um, what's your name again? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie and your wife? Sarah. Sarah. Charlie and his wife Sarah recognized me at the gym and said that I have two huge little fans that are in the kid room, and I invited them over to play in the pool. That is Janelle and Claire. Right, Claire? Say hi to your fans. Y'all are gonna be on a YouTube video. Hi. They're out here playing with Aubrey and Eli, which are Chelsea's kids. So, right now, they are going to taste test this Cubera snapper. The little girls also brought me some awesome artwork. Pretty much, that looks like Finley, but a little chunkier. And a really cool frisbee for Finley that hopefully it's not too hot, dig in. Right. He's it's never great. had Cubera before. Never had it. Hopefully it's good. I haven't made Cubera in a very long time. I didn't even try it yet, so <laughs> honest, honest opinions. Great, Kelly. Tyler doesn't eat rice, so he's just got fish and mango salsa. How did Aubrey do on the lime? <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey added the lime to the salsa, so if it's a little limey, that's why. Fish doesn't eat anything. What do you think, Pops? Bone apple tea. Very good. What do you think, Finley? Oh, right off the <laughs> fork. Oh, and are you going to... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Finley, he must really love you. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. So it's about to be a crazy, crazy afternoon with these kids in the pool. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up as well on this video. But right now, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.